Hey guys, Allie Marie here with My Catholic Perspective. I want to start today's video by just saying I'm not back. My health is a broken record right now. I'm still trying to get in with doctors who um, are familiar with the type of brain tumor that I had back in 2014. Um, I am seeing now a sarcoma oncologist who I meet with for the first time next week because they identified a gene fusion that was in the tumor they removed in 2014 that typically shows up in clear cell sarcoma. So now there's discussion about how I should have been getting like lung x-rays because apparently this type can spread to the lungs or to the bones are the two most likely places. Um, so, so I'm finally in the right hands with doctors. But in regard to my last video, I gave you guys a health date update, said that I was gonna be taking a break, which I am still maintaining that step back. However, there have been obviously those developments to say, we like really don't know what's going on with my health, but now we can hopefully find out soon. And as we know, knowledge is power. And so my husband and I have been talking a lot about, you know, what would we do, what would he do um, if something were to happen to me? And we talked about the ideal age that a parent would pass away, right? And um, and he was like, oh, well into your 20s, you know, if they were at least 20 years old. And I said, well, if they were 15, you know, even at 15, like zero to six is such a critical age. Um, my oldest is two and a half. She just turned two and a half a couple days ago. Um, and then my youngest is 11 months, who just turned 11 months today, actually. And, uh, and so we, um, we talked about that and I'm like, well, zero to six is like super critical. That is subconscious is being formed. They need high attachment. Like right now would really not be ideal for their mom to um, pass away. And then it's like, but you know, then you have from like seven to 12, there's that next step of kind of prepubescent, kind of this learning a lot, um, you know, and, and we're, I, I'm planning on homeschooling at this point. It's up in the air still. Obviously, I ha don't have to make that decision tomorrow. But so, so obviously, like if something were to happen to me, it just things would be. Um, I stay home with them. Things would just be very abruptly uh, di difficult and and different for them, for my husband. And so I, I wanted to say to him though, when, when we were talking about it, I was like, well, by the time they're 15 though, you know, they will have gotten to know me. They will have very solid memories of who I am. Um, you know, the words that I live by will be ingrained in them. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, because my parents, right, my dad had two rules and that was don't lie, never lie, and always remember who you are. So whenever I would leave, you know, he'd say, remember who you are. So that's kind of the phrase when I think of my dad, um, if I think like, oh, I need to talk to my dad about this, you know, he would say, well, remember who you are, who are you? And then my mom always says, what gives you peace? So if I'm thinking about her and I'm in a difficult situation, both of my parents are still living, um, but you know, say they pass on or they're unavailable, can't get them on the phone, you know, I know that her advice would always be, what will give you peace? For me, I do have a few phrases that I do live by. They come up time and time again in my videos, but the number one that I think of is that our past vices stay with us. And so when, you know, so, like, oh, I might cry. I wasn't going to cry, I was trying not to cry. But when I thought about my last video that I posted, it was kind of like, you know, okay, I'm gonna take a step back. We're trying to figure this out. And now it's like, okay, if I pass away, um, like say something happens tomorrow, I don't know. It's like, it's so unlikely and I could always get on. But you know, say something happens tomorrow and my daughters grow up and they're on my YouTube channel and that was like the last video that I'd posted. Like, I didn't really leave them with anything. I didn't leave them with any words of wisdom. Um, and like something that they could look at in their older age and say, okay, this is like what my mom's advice would be. Obviously they can look back at the hundreds of videos that I've posted and hopefully get to know me through those as well. But, um, but like the fact that our past vices catch up to us. So that would be like my number one piece of advice because if we can avoid entering a vice in the first place, um, we can stay away from it. So like, 
toddlers and screen time, right? Like if we just never allow our toddler to watch a screen, they're not going to be sucked into it. Uh, popsicles are a thing right now this summer. My daughter asks for a popsicle every single day. And if we hadn't ever given her that first popsicle, she would not be asking for the popsicle every day. Uh, so, so these things that we introduce into our lives become a part of us. They are a piece of who, who we become and what we fall back to. So when it comes to choosing our friends, when it comes to how we're investing our time, when it comes to all of those pieces, it's just so imperative that we are choosing prudently, um, that, we're, that we're choosing with wisdom, that we're making conscious decisions uh, and, and basically going forward with those. I'm over on Instagram at Allie Marie here and I've been posting about that a bit lately about, um, you know, I've been, go I've been on a diet. I haven't, I've been sick for the last week, so I have not abided by it entirely. Um, especially like I, I want to be active 20 minutes a day and I haven't been able to do that because I've been totally congested and unable to breathe. Uh, so, so again, making wise, prudent choices in, in our given situation. But, um, but as soon as I didn't work out one day, it was so much easier to work out, to not work out the next day. And yesterday I said to my husband going to bed, I'm like, you know, I really probably could have worked out today. I feel a little like I probably could have gone for a run or I even could do, you know, an at home workout right now if I was really motivated to. But because I had slipped back into that dormancy of not working out, it was very, it's very easy right now to stay there. Um, even today still, I'm like, I have to work out. I can do it. I can breathe fine. Um, but so, but so our past vices, they just catch up to us. That is like, you know, and that's basically the thing is, um, you know, if they're like, oh, well, should I go over to this person's house or that person's house? Should I do this? Should I not? Should I, what should I do? It's like those, what we choose to invest our time into, what we subject ourselves to and um, indulge in will always come back to haunt us, if you will. Like it will always come back. It will always be a struggle. I struggled with so many different things that I've talked about um, in these videos. Back when I was in college, I was just so irresponsible and dated anybody who would have me. I um, did not know my worth. I did not know um, what a good decision looked like really because I just was so engrossed in becoming the person that the guy I was dating wanted me to be. So, you know, if he wanted to do rock and roll, I'd go to concerts. If he smoked cigarettes and marijuana, I'd do that. If he, you know, whatever it was. Um, and, and a lot of those decisions, they ended up coming back to me. And and so so paying attention to what we're, what we're doing, our, our past vices catching up to us is really my number one, um, my number one catchphrase, I guess. Like, you know, I don't know how, I don't know how that'll end up transpiring as my children get older. Um, you know, how it would end up coming out. It's not like, you know, they'd be like, hey, I want to go to so-and-so's house. And I'd be like, Do it, just remember, your past vices will catch up to you. <laughs> like, I don't think it would come out that way. And I honestly, like, it would have to be in the moment and it would have to be, like, then for me to properly develop it, which I pray to God that it can be developed, right? That that treatment could um, could be good and that I would be fine, you know? And that I don't have to worry about what legacy or what peace I need to leave with them. Um, but that's just sort of how I'm doing now, I guess, and how things are progressing. Um, like I said, I'm over on Instagram. I'm posting updates there. I'm trying to post in the community tab here on YouTube, but I don't always do well at that. So you're probably better off following on Instagram, but um, I'm just looking forward to being healthy again and not having to think about, you know, what else could be growing in my body that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of, you know, the primary concern right now. So, but I did just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, I felt compelled to just kind of check in with you, let you know how things were going. And then also, like I said, um, to my girls, like this video's for them, I guess. Like it's, uh, I wanted to leave something a little more substantial than I'm sick. I'm going to take a step back. Here's the update. I'll see you next time. Like, you know, it's, 
and yeah, obviously if things get worse and I don't have like a sudden death, which I shouldn't, um, but if things do end up getting worse and whatever else, I, I will definitely uh, have more targeted videos as well and confident of probably where I'm sitting instead of standing, which as you can see behind me, I have this beautiful new piece by Justine at the Little Rabbit Company. Um, it's the Sacred Heart, Immaculate Heart of Mary, and then the Most Chaste Heart of Joseph. And I was just so excited to add it to my background to complement my Sacred Heart and Immaculate Heart over here. Um, and so I'm looking forward to being able to share more about Catholic doctrine, about what God has done in my life, um, how God has guided our family through this current situation, all with the Holy Family Hearts alongside me, like literally and figuratively. So those are just my thoughts for today then. That's all I have. But I do pray that God grants you the resources that you need to draw closer to Him and in turn to those around you. And I pray that you're able to make it a great day. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hi. You want me to hold you? Can you tell that I'm sad? No, Mama, baby. I'm a baby? No, baby. No, baby. Baby, did you sleep in? Oh, yeah. Can you go sit on the couch and suck on your popsicle for a little bit longer and I'll come over and snuggle with you in a minute? No, no. You want to stay here now? Yeah. Uh, I'm no, Hi. I'm almost done. You want me to hold you? Mm -hmm. I'm, sweet. I'm, like, I'm one minute away from being done. Uh -uh. Can you go sit on the couch. Let's yeah. see. Do you want a juice box? Okay, now you go sit on the couch, and then as soon as I'm done, I'll go get you juice bags, okay? No, I'm No, I can't. I'm done. Yeah, I am done. Mm, I'm done.